Werner Herzog. He can be described as the big boss of cinema. A crazy, badass, renegade German filmmaker whose filmmaking productions often have just as interesting a story as the very stories he means to capture in his films. Often, his stories don't mean to capture authentic moments, but rather capture authentically the meaning of humanity in all its strangeness, sadness, and beauty. His latest film, Family Romance, LLC, is no exception to his previous works in that regard. Now, this one is interesting, because while the movie did premiere at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival, its continued viewing distribution is secured strictly on the video-on-demand platform Mubi, a streaming service that caters more to the hardcore cinephiles that are looking for a more deeper auteur cinema than what Netflix and Amazon Prime offer. And appropriate to the spirit of the platform, the movie starts with an introduction by Herzog himself, speaking to the audience about his thoughts and feelings on the project and some behind-the-scenes info. But when we were shooting, I did not want to listen in through a, a live translation um, of, of the dialogue because I was my own cinematographer. I actually kind of like this. It reminds me of Cecil B. DeMille's introduction to The Ten Commandments. The theme of this picture is whether men are to be ruled by God's law or whether they are to be ruled by the whims of a dictator like Ramesses. Are men the property of the state or are they free souls under God? This same battle continues throughout the world today. The story of family romance revolves around an actual phenomenon that's happening in Japan where people can rent actors to pose as family members to hang out with. This had been highlighted before in a Conan O'Brien remote where Conan rented a Japanese family. In fact, the lead actor in family romance, Ishii Yuichi, appeared in the segment. you have any father candidates? Oh my god. I feel like I've already disappointed him. <laughs> Naturally, this was for a more comedic purpose, but Family Romance LLC, as expected, explores the more poignant and unsettling implications and consequences of such a practice. On a side note, Herzog actually operates as his own cinematographer throughout the project, and many of the shots in Tokyo were filmed guerrilla style without permits, sometimes cutting just as policemen and security guards were approaching. Many questions come about after watching the film. What do you do when a connection to someone, based on pretending, suddenly becomes too real? And is it really all just pretend? And also, can we really say that any or all of our connections with our friends and family are truly real? We constantly adjust ourselves to the people we know based on how we perceive their expectations of our behavior to be like. Does paying someone to do so really turn on its head our long human practice of interpersonal communication. I left Family Romance LLC with more questions than answers, but the good kind of more questions than answers. It's a movie meant to start conversations rather than end them, and that, in my opinion, is the good kind of art. Of course, it wouldn't be a Werner Herzog film without a line like this in a question pertaining to automated hotel clerks. If you want to watch Family Romance LLC, you'll have to get a movie subscription. So far, I'm enjoying it. I like the artsy criterion style thumbnails, and the film selection is good and interesting. I plan to do more reviews of films on the movie platform in the future. Cheers.